How was $250 million stolen from Bobby Orr? Back in 1976, Orr was the NHL's biggest free agent at 27 years old. In his first 10 years playing for the Boston Bruins, he won two Stanley Cups, three MVPs, and was voted as the best defenseman in hockey for eight straight years, while also leading the NHL in points multiple times. Bobby Orr was a legend in Boston, and he wanted to play there his entire career. However, his agent, Alan Eagleson, had different plans. Eagleson was the executive director of the NHL's Player Association, and he was great friends with the owner of the Chicago Blackhawks. Chicago offered Bobby a five-year deal with $3 million guaranteed, and Eagleson was telling Bobby that the Bruins weren't offering anything close. But that was a lie. Because what he wasn't telling Bobby was that the Bruins offered him 18.5% ownership of the team. And because he trusted his agent, he went to Chicago. In his three years there, he only played a total of 26 games and retired at 30 years old. Today, the Bruins are worth $1.4 billion. That means Bobby Orr's share would be worth $250 million.